Hi everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Well, it rained over the weekend. I only went to this water five days ago. This is what it looks like now. Roll the intro. Hi everybody. Well, five days ago, I was down there about 12 foot. In five days after the rains over the weekend, Ryburn has completely filled up. That might be a case that Baited's Dam, which is up there, is massive and they may have dropped a load of water in here to try and make that a good reservoir to hold the rest of the water that's coming off the moorlands because it's just coming in from everywhere but this means that my favorite fishing spot just a bit further up there we're on again that was a good one it just rose up and took it it's going to be up it's deep and hopefully fish let's see so my tactics today were intermediate line two bbo flies one at 10 foot one at 15. i was going to fish them quite slowly at first because the water was a little bit murky up but i was going to give them the chance of seeing the fly rather than stripping it back right quickly even the night before i was thinking this is how i'm going to fish it and i'm going to stick to it We're on slow figure eight, nice fish. And it went for the big So I'm fishing off the point, getting the flies beyond and then just bringing it down this left hand side, it's about three foot deep. Well, this fish took it. You can't see it, or it doesn't give it a proper reflection on the camera, but it was a stonker. It was at least three and a half, four. It didn't mess around that much, it just was trying to go deep like most browns do. But anyway, let's watch the video. We're on again. That was a good one. It just rose up and took it. Oh, you bugger. It just rose up and took that. So a little bit disheartened I lost that one because it was a good one. Cast it into the same area, let it sink a little bit lower. I was just changing my tactics, but I was always stripping it 12 inch, 12 inch. Caught the first one on a nice quick figure eight, but I stuck with stripping, got myself another fish. Good fish. I'm right on a beer. I took it easy. <coughs> the bend on that rod go right on the point fly as well that is a crimpy old fish that So I decided to move off down where the pixies doors are 
that's mm -hmm. uh, little doors that are mm -hmm. painted on trees. It's quite close, say, there's lots of brambles. Uh, as you can see, you get the line wrapped around your feet. You can't help it. You can't stand in the water here either, because again, it's another two foot, two and a half foot, if I was just to step off that grassy mm -hmm. bank. But fish mm -hmm. are quite close in. Fish same tactics, fish on. <sighs> Got myself another nice fish, but I was getting caught up in my back cast because the trees are quite close behind me. You can't cast it that far. It's a case of just trying to get it out as far as you can without losing your flies. So I went down the boathouse, had a cast up against the bankings. One or two fish were showing. Um, I had one fish that took the fly, but I was only doing a really slow figure of eight. I wasn't stripping it here for some reason. But anyway, I had a great day out. I loved it. And um, as I say, best value for money around here. But I'm going to have to get out into some prime water soon. And only, if only just to try these bibios out. Whenever I've gone to prime water, it's always apps, worms, shabbies. But anyway, thanks much for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you later. Oh.